us the fantasies no one can judge us no one can judge us this is for us open up your brown book baby Hey y'all, hey, welcome to the Brown Book Series. And we have today, you guys already know, Sharon C. Cooper, award <laughs> winning USA Today's bestseller author, Sharon. <laughs> hey, Shay. Girl, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm so super excited. Listen, you know, I'm always excited when you come on the show. I'm always excited when you come on now, the show. Now, do you say that to everybody? Well, or is I, it or is it just me? It's it's just you. But no, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, let me not lie. Hold on. No, I am excited when you come on the show. Now, when I have some some other people on the show, I get excited. Some people will be like, okay, gay. I just, <laughs> <laughs> so, but but I'm super excited today because you're here not to just you know fuck around with Shay, which you normally do, and I appreciate that. But you're here because we have a new release business not as usual so oh my god we're gonna get into this but first you know we gotta say hello to everybody chimed in with us today hello to jennifer copeland what's up boo hey y'all hey hey, hey Miss louise hey, we did y'all coming and checking in with sharon sharon they on their lunch break coming message <laughs> i feel so honored Hi, D.A. Hey, what's up with y'all? Hey, y'all. Hey. I absolutely love it. Oh, my God. Hey, Miss Mitchell. Look at Miss Look White. I love them. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, y'all. Hey. Everybody checking in with Miss Sharon C. Cooper today, y'all. Everybody checking in. Miss C., what's up, boo? <laughs> Brown book C. Hey, Missy. Miss Sandra Boone. Oh my God, this is awesome. Hello, yeah. hello, everyone. Miss Tony. Hey, I know Miss Tony. Yeah. Miss JB. That's right. Miss JB better have checked it. I'm going to call her if I ain't see her. <laughs> I'm going to call you, JB. Hey, Miss Shannon. Hey, Miss Harvard. How y'all doing? Yeah. Hey, y'all. Sharon. Hey. I see Sharon. Hey. Oh, Sharon, that's a beautiful picture, girl. Oh, she's a model. I like that. Girl. That bitch is cute, girl. It's everything, honey. Hey y'all, hey, Miss Brenda, what's up, Bo? Hey, Brenda. <laughs> Girl, I absolutely love. We all love Sharon C. Cooper, so of course we have everyone that's checking in with us. What's up, DA? Hey, Miss Sharon. Look, that Miss Sharon. Hey, Miss <laughs> <laughs> DA. Y'all checking in, and we appreciate it. We surely appreciate. It. I started re listening to the book. Yes, love it so far, Missy. You gonna love it. I'm telling you, girl. It's it's a hoot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For the ones who have not read it, you go make sure you go to brownbookseries.com or Amazon Goodreads and all the good stuff and check out our review for this book. Uh, our girl, Crystal, did the review. And first of all, she was so excited. When I read the book, I was like, this is funny. I <laughs> I listen, y'all. Y'all know I'm very transparent. I tell all my business, right? So I did not know. It really does. <laughs> all my business. I did not know this was a rom com. I was like, oh, this shit is funny as hell. Like, what is she doing? And then she's like, oh, we're supposed to be. I'm like, oh, well. Yeah, I remember you text me and said, you know, this is really funny. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's a rom com. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, she she understood the assignment then. <laughs> I would be like, this funny, like this is crazy. Yeah, because you're used to my romantic suspense, and yeah, so I, I am. I'm used to uh, yeah, the Jenkins. You know, the Jenkins yeah. is one of my favorite. I don't know why the Atlanta, Atlanta finest. I love them too, but some about them damn Jenkins. <laughs> it's just you know, PJ. I just love them. Hey, Mama Tony. Yes. Oh, uh, she said, I'm excited with every author you know, Thank you, Mama Tony. Because I have, you know, you guys are like some of, some of my favorites. And so I just be like, I just be excited. I'm excited <laughs> y'all come on, you know, and, and, and want to talk to us about, you know, your life and your books and stuff like that. So I'd be super excited. But when my friends come on, because I ain't friends with everybody. But when my friends come on, <laughs> it'd it be, be excited too, so. Thank you. It's mutual. <laughs> yeah, so it's mutual. We appreciate that. Miss Hop. Okay, okay, y'all. So listen, midnight. What it do? Hey. Midnight, hey, midnight Ace. Midnight Ace Book Bar. Y'all make sure y'all go there. That's my sis. Go to her website. Check her out. She has wonderful reviews over there. If you want to know which which uh 
what little piece of alcohol I'm going with this little piece of book y'all read. <laughs> <laughs> Midnight will pair it up for you. And if it's not on her site, you can just hit her up and she'll make sure she give you, you know, a good taste for the good book that you're about to read. So Midnight, we need you to know, we need to know what goes good with business, not as usual. Uh, so you can drop that in the description. It's drop that in the chat and we'll, uh, you know, take it from there. I Yo, can't wait to see what she comes up with. I cannot wait to see what she comes up with. This is going to be so super exciting. All right. So we got, you know, of course we got um, what they call trolls and stuff in the chat room. So uh, uh, Crystal v, uh, v, get them up out of here. How about that? All right. So we want everyone that joined us today. We just want to say thank you, uh, Chelsea, Pascal, say happy release day to you. Uh, thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> happy release day. Okay. So we're trying to we'll get all the um, the church announcements out the way. Let's get the special announcements out the way first. Thanks to our sponsors. <laughs> Thanks to Cam and Cake, the Cam Creek location, Jewels by Jim, Penguin Random House. Thank you, guys. Chelsea, you was awesome. Chelsea was sending us books. It was like, Shay, we got it. And thanks to Detroit for that clothing line and veterans taking care of veterans. They're new sponsors that came on with us. So, you know, big ups to all the veterans out there. And thank you to all of our sponsors. And thanks again to Chelsea. Chelsea is with, um, uh, she's, she's, she's Miss, 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 um, Miss Sharon's little publicist. Honey. You know, Miss Sharon, big <laughs> Hey Chelsea. Promises <laughs> and stuff, honey, honey. We be having meetings, honey. I'm all right, man, Sharon. <laughs> Chelsea makes me feel special, let me tell you. Chelsea made me feel special when that came. I said, okay, Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, I have a ride. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to thank uh, everyone that all our sponsors for making this um, thing happen for us, and we also just want to have a release and thank you to Miss Sharon C. Cooper. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. No, thank you for coming. Oh, that's on. exciting when I get invited to your show. I'll meet all my shenanigans. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. We're gonna be good today. Yeah. Right. <laughs> At least let me get the lie out, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and, um, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know how we do it. You know, we're going to um, talk about the book for right now. Then we're going to give away our um, prizes because we have prizes. The first 10 people who register get an e copy of um, Sharon's new release, Business Not As Usual. So, we're going to, in a few minutes, tell who the winners are. And then we have the Sharon C. Cooper's Brown, Brown Book Series Swag Bag Box Giveaway. And inside this swag bag is everything that you. It's beautiful. This bag is awesome. And of course, Miss Cooper sent her uh, some of her trinkets as well. She was like, girl, let's put this in my box. I said, okay, see? <laughs> so just a little something stuff that's going into your swag bag. Your swag bag. Of course, you're going to get a signed copy of Business Not As Usual, which is such an awesome read, honey. And we're going to get some of her older, but um, uh, a hit. Like you, like you're an artist. Like one of some of her hits, <laughs> <laughs> tempted. This is from this is the Atlanta Finest series, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. Tempted, vindicated, hunted, all that good stuff. We have our, of course, we have our pens and stuff. And baby, I love this bag. Y'all look. This bag says "Crazy in Love with Books" by Sharon C. Cooper. Isn't that hot? Oh my God, Sharon, I love this bag. <laughs> I'll have to make sure you get one too. Thank you, because I was just about to say something. I'm like, how are you gonna send something for me to get somebody else and they give me nothing? I just don't understand none of this. But I love that. And then to the mug. Okay, can y'all see this? Let me tell y'all something. This might not make it in the box. I'm just gonna <laughs> put that in the box, Shay. <laughs> Look at that though. When my nails done? Look at this is so hot. <laughs> Oh, that's nice, Sharon. God, I like you like it. it. I love it. I love it. So all that would be in your, in your Sharon C. Cooper swag bag box giveaway. Along with, of course, you got to know, we got to throw the Brown Book Series trinkets in there as well. And then we have two winners for the, the swag box giveaway. And you also get an Amazon uh, Kindle Fire in which this is one of the sponsors I forgot to. I love y'all. Amazon sponsors by <laughs> Amazon. You get a, 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 a brand new Kindle Fire. So, all right. All hearts and minds clear. We did all the church announcements. Miss Cooper. Yes, ma'am. Tell us a little bit. I know it's so suspense, right? 
<laughs> Tell us a little bit about Sharon C. Cooper for the ones who, you know, are new to you or for the ones who are just picking up this book for the first time as the introduction to Miss Sharon C. Cooper. Okay. Um, well, my name is Sharon C. Cooper and I write, um, mostly I write romantic suspense. I write contemporary romance as now I've added romantic comedy to that list. I've been, I've published my first book. Actually, I published my first book 10 years ago. In two weeks, it'll be 10 years. Oh, cool. And yeah. And so now I think I'm at like 35 or 36 books, something like that. And what else can I tell you? Um, I love Shea Baby. Um, you can start right yeah. there. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. I had to throw that out there just so you know there's much love over here, you know. Man, I listen, I know. You know how some people just like I love you, but no, nah, no, nah, I know I feel the love and I you know we love you too. Like I you know I love me some Sharon. I call you on a regular on <laughs> yeah. random Thursday, be like, hey, what you doing? You know? <laughs> She's telling the truth. She'd <laughs> be in the middle of the phone, be like, mm, listen to me real quick. I got something. <laughs> Yeah, it was such a pleasant surprise. I'm like, hold up. Is this like for real? You know? And it was really Shay calling me. Just I felt like, like I had arrived. Look at you. What a book. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, you're correct. Sharon has some of the best heroes. Yes, she do. Now, Sharon. Okay. Rom this is your first rom-com? This is my first rom-com. Wow. So what made you decide I'm going to dabble into this genre? Uh, it wasn't planned. I was hanging out with some author friends and was, this was years ago. And we were talking and I was, you know, tossing an idea I had um, regarding one of my characters winning the lottery. And, <laughs> and then they assumed that it was going to be a romantic comedy and I was going to make it a romantic suspense because I could totally see somebody winning a whole lot of money and then getting kidnapped or something. You know, I had it all planned out in my head, but after talking, we were having lunch. It was, it was a total of four of us having lunch and they, and when they, all three of them assumed that the idea or the theme um, centered around uh, winning the lottery would be romantic comedy then I was like, okay, maybe I should try romantic comedy. And then that's how it happened. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And so just like that. How hard it was, was just it? like that. But so how hard was it for you? Um, you know, some people, shit that I might laugh at, <laughs> other people might be like, Shay, that's not, don't do that. <laughs> and see, that's what I was really concerned about. I laugh easily. So, you know, I like goofy stuff. I don't like the Three Stooges. My husband loves the Three Stooges. I, I draw the line at the Three Stooges. So. <laughs> <laughs> I draw the line at them. But I do like, you know, I feel like I'm a, I laugh easily, basically. Okay. And But then while I was writing, what was funny, there were some scenes where I literally laughed while I was typing. But then afterwards, it's like, okay, what if I'm the only one that think this is funny? You know, so... You know, it it was a little nerve wracking before I started getting a little feedback and, you know, people thought it was funny. And it, I noticed those people who have uh, a sense of humor really thought it was funny. So I don't know if there is something to you have to have a sense of humor to read romantic comedy or but it was noticeable. Those some of my silly friends or sillier friends, you know, who just, you know, have you know, a lot of shenanigans. Kind of like you, Shay. You yeah, know, they just, they much. literally, they really thought it was like hilarious. You know? Yeah, I thought it was I don't know if it's hilarious, but it is, it's a really fun story. It is. Um, I think it's a fun story. And I think it's wonderful, um, a wonderful read at this time, you know, where just so much going on in the world. And sometimes you just want to get away from all the news and the drama and just have a good time with a story that, you know, just gives you a few laughs or smiles or, or giggles or what have you. you know? And you did that. You know, I often say you got to have a sense of humor just to live. You know, you can't just walk around uptight and 
stuff be fun. And now, when I was reading your book, I was laughing out loud. And I'm like, am I supposed to be laughing? This is <laughs> that was before you knew it was a romantic comedy. That was before I knew it was a romantic comedy. And I was like, yo, this shit is funny. So that was like, that's why I called so I'm like, um, you know, you know, I wouldn't be an art reader if I didn't say something. I'm like, is this supposed to be? This is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that made it even funnier when you when you called and asked, okay, I'm reading this story and I'm falling out laughing. Is it supposed to be? Listen, <laughs> like, you have me going and caught a cutie pie with a K, baby. I was like, listen. <laughs> oh, that we got a cutie pie with a K. It, it, <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. And then when I called um um uh Crystal, she was laughing too. She was like, yo, this is funny. I'm like, okay. Cause I'm calling you with some bullshit saying it's great, it's funny, and she was, you know, so yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Midnight said, Hey, y'all, you enjoyed this it. Third wine selection in the Camille Cooper Hawk series, Camille okay. Pierce. All right, Midnight, Camille Pierce. I'm gonna have to remember that. Yeah, Midnight, Midnight did that real quick, didn't she? She did, didn't she? Yeah, but she's a professional, honey. She's a professional drinker, honey. <laughs> 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 give, her, give her a good book and she'll come back with what wine are we drinking so I love that Missy says I got the next rom-com on the radar during this summer in it to win it okay um, thanks for sharing Missy yeah I'm working on well the story is finished I'm tweaking it um, the next rom-com is Morgan's story if you've read the story you already have, you've already met Morgan and so this is her story I in it to that. win it and yeah. it comes out December 13th, I think. I know it's on December. my birthday. It's gonna come out on my birthday, y'all. And then um when she, you know, she's gonna send it to me and school that happy birthday in it, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna share it with you guys. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. I got you. <laughs> I know I love all that. And you guys, um, even though Sharon would not be in Raw this year, she's gonna be at the next one. But we're going to have her books on site as well. So even though she's not going to be there, honey, we're going to have a poster with her smiling like... And then we're gonna... <laughs> I'll be there in spirit, though. I'll be there in spirit, you know what and I'm if saying? if anything changes, you know I'm there. <laughs> Listen, we're not, I'm not going to mess with your husband. Let's stop. <laughs> you know, okay, don't tell him I said that. I'm not going to tell him. No, we, you know, laid the law down. And I'm, yes, Mr. Cooper, I'm, I'm mining. I'm, it's sharing. I'm, I'm, I know. I, think, I still been thinking about it. It's just, yeah. But the, yeah. what we're talking about, that um, the conference is um, on my anniversary. We had this huge trip plan. And I thought I could kind of work it. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to get me in trouble, honey. She's trying to get me in trouble. I said, no, Mr. Cooper. I said, okay. I said, yes, sir. Sharon was the one who <laughs> I told her, oh, y'all, I threw her ass all the way up on the bus. I showed me. <laughs> you really did, because I was really going to try it. I was like, well, we could just fly from here to there. And yeah. And it's like, no. <laughs> yeah, he said, no. He said, you and Shay doing too much. And I agree with him. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> But he said she can come next time. Shay, I say yes, sir. You know how you, you know how your daddy be like, she can't come out to play right now, but tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah. out." laughs> and I was okay with it. <laughs> but wouldn't it be cool if I just showed up though? Wouldn't that be cool? That would be awesome. But yeah. you know, but if you show up and he come in with some, a frown on his face, I'm just gonna <laughs> Walk him directly to the Brenda Jackson's Men Action um Lounge and give him a cigar. And like, yeah, that'd be a whole nother story, probably. That would be, <laughs> that, that won't be a rom com though. That would be <laughs> then a romantic suspense. That's yeah. it. <laughs> like what happened to Sharon C. Cooper? Yeah. <laughs> Cooper. I'll be there. Like, I, you know, I told her, "What's up, Angela Anderson?" Yes, yes. The Sharon C. Cooper swag box is off the chain. Her bag, her box. I, you know, y'all get some and it's missing. Don't say nothing to me. <laughs> I just want y'all to know. Hey, Renata. Hey, Queen. Hey, I love it. So, Sharon. Okay. All right. So you got the the rom com. You like? Okay, this is it. This is good. This is cool. When you went to your publishing company, what did they say? Well, they were like, wait a minute, this is not, we, we don't, we didn't tell on them. You know, this was a whole new experience for me because I usually publish, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of indie publishing. I enjoy it. I love it. It's provided me with an amazing um, living 
And so and yo, we love you. Yeah. Love you. And so originally I really I really went back and forth on whether or not to publish it myself or to seek traditional publishing. And I really went back and forth. And this same group of women who happened to be traditionally published was like, you know, this is, I forgot what they called it. Um, the, the theme was considered, I forgot what it was called. They said it was something to where it can reach a mass of people. That was my original idea. The, my original idea wasn't accepted. It took, you know, some little tweaking uh, before the publisher was happy with the idea, but it wasn't my original idea. But my original idea, uh, I won't share that because that might be published in the future sometime. Okay, but yeah. my original idea, those particular authors, actually, I can't even name the authors because yes, I was going to add, you know, what I'm yes, saying? Who the uh, it was, um, I'm like picturing where we were sitting. It was Vanessa Riley. She's the author of Island Queen. Yes. It was Piper Hughley. You got to read Piper's... Um, um, you got to read her story. It's coming out, I think, in June. The new one. Yeah. I, yes. can, I, I can picture... Wait, I got to tell you, because it is... You're going to love it. Um, oh, by her own design. I love You're that. gonna enjoy that. Uh, so it was Vanessa here, Piper, and then it was Lauren Kelly. She's not traditionally published, but you, if you find her books out there, definitely check her out. Cause okay, yeah, it, she brings the heat. <laughs> so oh, Lauren so, you know. Kelly, Missy, write that Lauren down. Kelly, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Take note, girl. <laughs> yeah, and so when I brought this, you know, when we were just, because you know, most authors, if you have like author friends or author group, a lot of times you talk about your ideas before um, you do anything with them. This was years ago, and we had just left, I think we had just left a Georgia Romance Writers meeting. And I was like, what do you think about this idea? And I put it out there. And they're like, oh my goodness, you know, everybody started talking at once. That would be hilarious. I'm thinking like, okay, I didn't tell them the whole idea because, you know, it's a romantic suspense right. where we're supposed to be. And they thought where it was going to be a romantic comedy. And so anyway, when they said that, and then they were, uh, uh, one of them or two, of, I don't know, a couple of them said something like, you should really consider um, traditionally publishing this. And I'm like, ah. You know, I'm kind of a control freak and I, you know, do what I want to do. Scary. I, no. do I am, you know, I had to admit that to myself. <laughs> and so, like so then it was like, you know, listening to them and trusting their judgment. Um, the first thing I had to do was find, um, find an agent. So that didn't take as long as I thought it would take. It was really, 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 really quick. Found an agent pitched the idea. Uh, um, actually, I pitched it to two agents. They really liked it. Went with one agent. And then maybe a month later, maybe two months, I don't know. Two, one or two months later, had a deal. Did I answer your question? You know, I started rambling and <laughs> No, you know when I'm talking to you, I had to just make sure that we I be mindful that people are listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> So you that you don't say anything that you're not supposed to say? Yes. You know how conversations get. And then you ain't no better because if I start, you're going to go right along with the shit. And then we're going to be like, oh, damn. <laughs> People can hear us. Yeah. And I forget. I'm, I'm just, it feels like I'm. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. So we go, we go, yeah. We'll be not, you know, I'm sticking to my little cue cards over here, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. So did I answer your question, though? Um. Yeah. <laughs> you asked the all the way around, all the way, but it was good though because yeah, we wanted to know you know who the authors was and how they thought about it and all that good stuff. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so you went to a so this is a new publishing company you went to, and yeah, they it's like, not oh, a great. new publishing company. It's new to me. <laughs> new to you. Well, the yeah, when process you? was new to me. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Penguin Public. I mean, they've been around forever, you know. Right. But working with them was new to me. 
Yeah. Nipsey. And, okay, so, and I'm sure they're but, familiar with your they was familiar with your old your your, your books anyway. They know you know no one I, the, Yeah, you know, I don't know if they were familiar or not because because I went through the agent. Um, Girl, you and the she USA knew today, some of the uh, author. They know who you are. Huh? You a USA Today bestseller and all. They know who you are. <laughs> I like it. Chelsea, did you know who she was? <laughs> Chelsea, did you know? <laughs> Do not put Chelsea on a spot like that. I'm going to put Chelsea on the spot. Chelsea going to be like, I didn't know who that <laughs> So, yeah, All right, so you know what? Right now, you guys, you guys, get yeah. your questions together. Everyone, get your questions together. We're going to start. We're going to open up the Q&A. Let all hearts and minds are clear. We ready. I know that's right, girl. You know how we do, honey. All hearts and minds are clear. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So, but before we get, um, because Sharon, Miss Sharon is going to bless us with an excerpt from her new novel, Business Not As Usual. I am. Okay. Yeah. I missed that. I need to what? find. You know what part I want you to read. You'll never read the part I want you to read. So, while she's looking for an what excerpt. Part you, what, what part do you want me to read? I don't even know if I want to know. No, okay, no, okay, no, mind. Huh? You, you find a nice part. Nice part with her and Carter going the banter between her and Carter. Oh, when he was trying to get her to go out with it. Where that part is? Okay. <laughs> so she turned, when she Which time? Said, yeah, look, the, the, when she finally said yes, because first time she turned to now, hey, y'all, we're not going to do a okay. story. Oh, uh, I can't read that part. Oh, okay, don't that read that part. part. Cause you know it has you kind of have to lead into uh, that exactly with the wig. Are you talking about the wig scene? Yes. No. Okay. Don't read that part. Don't read that part. I want you to read that part last. Like I did. Read yeah. That. I have to say that wig scene. I I mean you know I don't know if it's good at your old work or whatever, but I literally was typing and laughing while I was writing that scene. Yeah. And the reason why. I'm sorry, I'm probably throwing off your show. No, you good. But I gotta this tell you. show. I'm just here hosting. This is your show. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I had this friend. She's passed away a, a few years ago. But she was one of these people who would, uh, she was just, she wasn't quite dreamy, but she was, you know, very eccentric, you know, do what she, she, she marched to her own beat. She didn't care what nobody thought. She was the type of person that would come to work with like uh, a short bob wig, go home for lunch and come back with a long blonde wig. We might be related. I mean, she, anything that you, she was just the most amazing person because she was so opposite of me. That's what it was. You know, I just, I was like in awe of her boldness, of her her love of life, and she was just an amazing woman. Anyway, she had a wig incident, which kind of made me think about um, that scene that's in Dreamy, but it's different. But anyway, so we were, um, it was late. It was late, and we were late. No, she was leaving. I was getting ready to lock the door. And this was in Wisconsin, super cold outside, crazy windy, snow on the ground, maybe even ice and so we push open the door and it's like man it's open because it was so windy so we finally get the door over and she's like okay let me get out of here she steps outside and her wig flies off let me tell you I don't think I have ever in my life laughed as hard as I did that night it felt and if you knew her it made it even funnier like maybe five, three, chubby, a little loud, just naturally funny. And her wig flies off. She's like, oh my God, my wig. And she takes off running. Oh man, I, I laughed so hard after the wig. I can't believe she's chasing it. She was running down the street, a busy street at that. And I think what it made it even funnier, her husband was in a car right outside the door <laughs> waiting for her. And I look over at him like, okay, what's he going to do? He's sitting there just shaking his head. <laughs> you know, he's probably used to her shenanigans and everything. Anyway, she ran down the street after this wig that was flying around. I'm not even exaggerating. Oh, my <laughs> so God. She just, 
She gets to the corner, snatches it out of the air, and starts stumping back and cursing while she <laughs> <laughs> and cursing. She's like, my such a such, such a such. Shoo. You know, it slams it back on her head, does this. And I said, like, I cannot believe you chased after that wig. Like, That's not a good wig. What you talking about? <laughs> I would have been. I, I I promise you, shit. I had never laughed so hard in my life in oh. tears. And her husband, even when she was getting in the car, just shaking his head. <laughs> and then she opens the door and she's like, "Why you didn't help me? You know why you didn't help me chase my wig? You know he's still just shaking his head, like just get in the car, you know." <laughs> Yo, I would have been it laughing. Was the funniest thing I have ever in my life seen. It was just her, and just the way she responded, like you know, stumping back. Slamming it on her head, then adjusting it, you know, and like nothing happened, you know, but she was cursing. While she was... Oh my god, <laughs> that was <laughs> so funny! It was so funny. So, yeah, anyway, so when you think about that, it. when you wrote this wig scene, I, I was kind of thinking about that, you know, because every time I think about this, was like easily 25 30 years ago. Oh. And it is still funny as if it happened yesterday. That's you know, it was just hilarious. So yeah, I was thinking about that when I wrote this scene. You know, yeah. I'm like, I can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> and for all of those who just, who haven't read the book yet, Dreamy loves two things. Well, three things now, but she loves shoes and she loves wigs. Yeah. And so those are like a big part of her life, and it. Tra you know, that particular, I don't know what you would call it, theme, I guess, goes with her throughout the story. And, you know, yeah. I love it. Veronica says the rom-com is different from me, but I can't wait to read it, Sharon. You can never go wrong with the Sarah C. Cooper book. Uh -huh. Veronica, uh -huh. Thanks, Veronica. You, <laughs> so lie, baby. you ain't never lie, honey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks to everybody, too, Joyce, and everybody in the chat line. Miss JB, I love y'all, too. LaShawn, I love y'all, too. Y'all so awesome, man. Y'all hold me up. Y'all the reason why we do what we do, so I appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Joyce said you did an awesome job with your first rom com. Dreamy is Halea Dreamy. Oh, thank yeah. you, Joyce. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Dreamy I can't believe good. you guys have read these books, this book so fast. It's a and lot we, longer than my it, usual, too. It is, but it's an easy read. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a very easy read. Oh my God, y'all get a journal. I forgot to look at y'all. I'm trying to keep y'all stuff. Y'all get a little journal, too, honey. I'm trying to keep y'all stuff. I ain't going to keep y'all stuff. I'm putting it in the box. <laughs> When they get this, when they get your swag bag box, they go gag. They go be like, "Whoa, oh. Sharon!" No, you did that. I said, "Okay, Miss Sharon, honey, listen, we got them." <laughs> I love that. Let's see. Um, Tammy, Tammy said, "Happy tenth year." Oh, oh, thank you, Tammy. That's so sweet. Thank you. Uh, they go keep it going. Antoinette, you're right. We need a good laugh, so we sure do. That we do. Um, interviews with personnel. Well, let's see. Shay, thanks for the email. Love your interviews. Love your personnel. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, nice. <laughs> You'll be trying, honey. She, look, yeah, Shannon. Uh, she's a professional drinker. Yes. Uh, midnight <laughs> eight. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see how quick she got that shit together, y'all. All of us a December birthdays. Happy birthday, Sharice. Yes, girl. All of us a December birthday. Sagittarius in the house. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so while Sharon is getting <laughs> about to prepare the excerpt, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be finding an excerpt. Huh? See, that's what we do, y'all. We get on the phone, we just we, we then we'll hang up and be like, now what were we supposed to be had talking yeah. about? <laughs> and forget what uh what the original topic was. We always forget what the original topic was. But while she do that, we're going to put on the screen. We have ten winners for the e copy. You you all get a, a free download of business not as usual. By a USA Today's board winning award winning office best seller, Miss Sharon C. Cooper. Uh, and so here are the winners, real quick. Girl, because let me tell y'all something, people. I love y'all to death, but y'all answer y'all emails. So my team was like, Shay, we go send them an email, let them know that they won. Girl, they be hitting us back five weeks later. Talking about, girl, I just got the email that I want. I be like, girl, your prize went to somebody else. So now, <laughs> if you're here, you will be able to hear your name being called. So Watch Sharon look for these. These are the winners for the e-copy for this is not as usual. You'll get those as soon as we get off 
today. Now we're going to send it to the email that you guys signed up with at Eventbrite. Um, so that's where your 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 copy will be. All right, y'all ready? So the winners are Veronica Lockett, Mitzi Dunn. Hey, Mitzi! Uh, Joan Williams, Deborah Fortner, Pam Kelly, L. Vendetta Carter. That's not like she got some money right there, honey. L. Vendetta. L, you got some money, girl. <laughs> L. Vendetta, baby. Okay. Um, Danikia Wallace. If I said your name wrong, girl, I'm sorry. You know I love you, boo. Uh, let's see who else we got. Carolyn Jackson, Rhea Alexis Banks. That's another time she got some money. And Tammy Jordan. So congratulations to the winners. Again, Veronica Lockett, Missy Dunn, Joan Williams, Deborah Fortner, Pam Kelly, Ella, and Ella Vendetta Carter, Danica Wallace, Carolyn Jackson, Rhea Alexis Banks, and Tammy Jordan. You guys are all the winners for e-copy of Business Not As Usual. You must claim your prize by 3 p.m., Easter Standard Time tomorrow, okay? So congratulations again to all of the winners. Yay! We'll leave it up here for a few more seconds so you guys can be like, oh, is that me? Yeah, that's me, okay? Hit us up, Brown Book Series at brownbookseries.com and be like, hey, I'm here, girl. Give me my old prize. If not, we're just going to drop them in your, um, on your, um, your email. And if you have already have the book. And you're like, you know what, Shay? Give my book to someone else. I want to be a blessing to someone else. You can do that as well. And then we'll just pass it on to the next winners. So for we called your name out, just hit us up. Brown Book Series at brownbookseries.com and be like, hey, I'm a winner. You know, where my book? Or just go to our website and drop a line in the contact and contact us and just be like, hey, yo, girl, where my book there, honey? <laughs> Don't say it like that because I get offended. I just play it. <laughs> I check one more day. And we'll have those. And we'll those, have those right ups for you. Okay. Sharon C. Cooper is about to read an excerpt from the brand new, um, we could go ahead okay. and say, uh, award winning book. She's going to become New York Times with this book. So, y'all, yeah, this book is good. She's going to become New York Times. From your book. mouth to dad ears. <laughs> that would be <laughs> wild. <laughs> It will be what she'll be writing rom coms for Elva. She's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I probably would write another and another. <laughs> and she has switched our genre right here on the show. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Sharon C. Cooper. Okay. Um, this excerpt, and I'll try not to make it too long. This excerpt is um, Dreamy and Carter um, were in a meeting. Meeting. Actually, throughout the story, they're in a couple of meetings, but this is probably the first, maybe the first meeting where they, right after they kind of met, he's, you know, he's, she's different than what he expected. And, um, and this is also after Dreamy was dumped by her boyfriend who told her she wasn't sophisticated or, or cultured enough or something like that. Anyway, so, and Dreamy is kind of feeling Carter, but she's like keeping her distance because mainly he's way out of her league. All right, so here we go. It says, okay. Are you okay? Dreamy startled at the deep voice and jerked her head up. Carter stood in front of her desk and his intense eyes held a concern that probably should have been reserved for someone he actually knew. Yet here he was. She leaped from her seat and ran her fingers through the long strands of her wig, hoping it hadn't shifted on her head. She pulled her shoulders back and stood tall. Oh yeah, I'm fine. I was just, uh, I was just pulling myself together. She said honestly, and let her shoulders droop. Is the meeting over? She asked, which was clearly a dumb question if he was standing in front of her desk. What did you think of the sentient computer idea? I think it's magnificent. Based on my research and what I know about Matheson technology, it'll be a nice addition to the company's product line. Dreamy smiled, feeling encouraged that the tech company might get the funding it needed, meaning she'd also get the raise that Gordon promised her, assuming he kept his word. If he didn't, she would have no other choice but to leave. No way was she going to keep putting up with his shit if it didn't come with more money. But more than that, even if she didn't stay with the company, she wanted to see it succeed, mainly because of those who worked for Matheson. Well, I'm glad you're going to invest in. I didn't say that, Carter said. There was no warmth in his tone and his uninterested expression spoke volumes. 
they'd blown it. No, Gordon had blown it. Dreamy shouldn't be surprised. No doubt Mr. Redford had felt the discord that filled the room. She had hoped that he'd overlook it and base his decision solely on the product. Guess not. Mr. Redford, Carter, please, he said with a slight smile. Okay, Carter, is there anything I can say or do to persuade you to consider taking a chance on Matheson technology, like kiss the ground you walk on, have your babies? One tempting idea after another flooded her mind, but no way would she voice any of them. She had already embarrassed herself enough with her squeaky shoes and flower garden outfit. No sense in adding to that list by saying something crazy or sharing inappropriate thoughts. Carter's head tilted slightly as she studied, as he studied her. Wait, I didn't say any of that crap out loud. Did I? No, 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 I didn't. But Dreamy tried not to fidget under his perusal. But there was something about the man that made her all flustered. It was more than the fact that he was wealthy. It was everything. It was his cool, calm demeanor that was present throughout the meeting, his good looks, his scent, his powerful presence, everything about him messed with her sanity. It didn't help that he had the social grace of the Duke of Sussex and the seductiveness of Idris Elba. The man was damn near perfect, the total package. I'll stop there. I'm all in, so you see, I'm gonna that <laughs> ring, bro. That was all right. You know, reading out loud is just weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always say that, and I always be like, so. But you sound good when you, and what get, let me tell you what gets, let me tell y'all, they're my friends, like I said. Let me tell y'all what gets me oh, about boy. it. Oh, shit, man. She sounds so good reading these books. And she just be like, oh, I feel weird. That's why you sound great. If you didn't know, like, we're not going to read no excerpt today, y'all. <laughs> you know, I'm saying, like, if you ever read your own book, you would be hot at doing it. Really? Yeah, because yeah, it's like I fumble the words and I'm, yeah, anyway. Yeah, no, but so, if you're thank reading it, you. you know, with your little microphone and you're reading, you're all into it. That's all the song. I'm fine. <laughs> I got a new idea just just popped in my head. We're gonna talk about that later. That's gonna be hot. We're gonna this thing on up. <laughs> oh boy. Thing. Every time you come up with an idea, it means more work for me. So and do it, because um, I do it, y'all. I'll be like, look, Sharon, we be working hard around here. We be working hard around here. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause, because that, that was a great excerpt. Yo, side note. That picture behind you is awesome. Y'all match it. The picture with the background. Oh, thank the wall, you. Navy blue. What color is that wall? Yeah, it's navy blue. Because I actually didn't think it would be this dark when I painted it. But I kind of like it. And then the oh, picture, right. I painted the picture, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago. You painted that picture? I did. I painted my spare time. What? Don't get too wait, don't get too excited though. This particular one, normally I paint freehand and I always do abstract, but this was actually a paint by numbers. It was my first major paint by numbers. Can you see it? I'm hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> don't hang up. So in my spare time, when I'm trying to wind down a little bit, I paint. I never knew that. Did anybody know that? I did. Did y'all know that? I didn't know yeah. that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's why we love this platform because we get to get all up in y'all business and up in y'all house. <laughs> Yo, that painting is hot. Dude, don't get excited because you already know what's gonna come next. I know. I'm like, nope. I'm not commissioning I'll, any. <laughs> I'll let you know what I want when we get off the <laughs> <laughs> oh, and so yo in the chat, they are hilariously laughing at you in this wig, um, and your friend's wig. Oh, Casey, I'm telling Casey. you, it was so funny. It was so oh, so funny. Yeah, Jennifer says she's in the middle of reading it now. They always laughing at this wig, girl. I'm like, mm -hmm. I cannot. Okay, so like, yes, um, Miss JB, we want to know how easy was it to write outside of your natural habits. How easy was yeah, it? Yeah, that, for the most part, it was pretty 
for the most part, it was easy. The hardest part for, for me was getting out of my own head because my concern was things that I thought was funny, like squeaky shoes, especially squeaky new shoes, you know. It is real. It's <laughs> so I thought that was funny. So, you know, I think the hardest part for me with romantic um, comedy was my fear that though I thought it was funny, I feared that somebody else might not think it was funny. And so that kind of, you get kind of hung up on that. Um, just kind of being in your head too. The next story, you know, I'm just going to write, just write it. If it's funny to me, I'm good, you know. But the first one, I was very, I went back and forth on so many, um, so many things because of my concern about will it be funny? And you know, with rom-com, it's not necessarily, all of them are not necessarily, you know, fall on the floor laughing moments. You, you know, you usually, usually rom-coms are have some light moments, some moments that kind of make you laugh out loud. And so I had to kind of remind myself of that also. So, so for the most part, it was, it was just like writing, you know, a romantic suspense, except instead of suspense, I was trying to create um, funny moments or funny situations. And the funniest situations are those situations where we either know somebody who's been in those situations, they we've been in those situations, like the squeaky shoes. I can picture a pair of shoes and I've never worn them because they're squeaky, but they're too cute to get with, rid of, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, when you know yeah, so just. <laughs> <laughs> and we have funny family members like Dreamy, her grandfather. Grand He's hilarious, you know. Yes. <laughs> slick, slick Lester, you know. Yes, <laughs> I like old Gramps. Honey. It, your secondary characters in this book were everything, and that always sets okay. it up for like, yo, know, she has to have, she has to have Morgan Story and Jordan on, and like you have even Gramps. Like, what Gramps? Do? You know what I'm saying? Because the secondary yeah. characters are just awesome. I loved it. I'm glad. And Gramps, they do show up. Gramps and Dreamy and Carter, they do show up in the second story too. That's what's up. I absolutely yeah. love that. So yeah. you guys, we have, uh, we got, ooh, we, we run out of time. So we need a couple more questions for you want to um, get ready and close out in a little bit. You know, I don't go by fast and y'all ask us, no, y'all can get back to work trying to extend y'all life break. <laughs> uh, Sabrina, how I'm hey Sabrina, I had a one o'clock meeting, couldn't wait for it to end and I could get on here to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey Sabrina. Sabrina asked, Sabrina said, honey, she ain't heard nothing of that mean, baby. She's like, listen, I gotta go. All right. <laughs> Everybody is is loving it. I didn't get my email laugh out loud. Miss JB, you know, <laughs> we ain't no email number. You're not winning, JB. You already got the book. Stop. It's <laughs> Everybody's like, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. Guys. Thank you yes, so much. And then uh, congratulate all the winners with Angela Stay. Congratulations to all the winners of the ebook. Yes, yes. Congratulations to all the winners. You guys make sure you hit me up because if not, we'll give you a book to somebody else. Because people love her. All right. Questions, questions, questions. My question to Miss Sharon. How come what comes first for you to oh the plot or the characters? Thank you for your answer. Oh, she's so sweet. She's so polite. Ooh, that is a really good question. This um, the majority. Your, it is different for each book. Um, Dreamy story, the idea, the plot, probably parts of the plot probably came first and then Dreamy because I knew I would have to have somebody who was a little out there. I knew I would have to have a character that was a little different than my usual characters. So yeah. for this story, the plot came first and then the character. For some of my other stories, um, that I can think of, the character came first, and then I created a plot to go around their personality. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's a great question. Great question. That's a great question, Love Ventures Homes. That's what I'm saying. Let's see. They all saying thank you. Oh, keep reading. Yes, the, yes. All right. So your questions, your questions. Well, Shine said I can't read it. Does it? Does what now? I can't wait to read it. Does it come in trade size? Mm, no. Um, it just comes in this size. Oops. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what this is called. Mass. Yeah. Grab a little yeah. <laughs> Cause I, I'm thinking a tray size on a little pocket size. It looks one. like my little uh, Harlequin. Uh, yeah. These are also gonna be in the books too. I love this book. This is still defend. This is your latest one. 
That was the yeah. yeah, my latest romantic suspense. That's the latest romance. This is nice right here. So that's gonna be look. This little swag box is gonna be off the chain, baby. You know what I'm trying to tell you, huh? Trying, baby. All right, let's see here, Miss Brenda. So be happy. I'm be happy, Miss Brenda. Absolutely awesome. The painting. That painting is beautiful. Thank tell me what you. you Miss Brenda, tell me which which one you want, so I can. When I <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch it out every now and then, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. You give me that one. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a writing ritual you go through, or do you have a set uh, numbers of words per day? Hey, Antoinette. Hi, Antoinette. Um, it's different with different projects, actually. I don't necessarily think I have a writing ritual. Um, I do the words per day when I'm working on a first draft. Like, right, this month I have two stories that I have to get to two different editors at the end of the month. So in the afternoons, I'm working on word count. The morning with this particular month, in the mornings, I'm working on reworking a first draft to send to the to a different editor. Yeah. So it just depends on the project and where I'm at in each project. Normally, I don't work on two projects at one time. Um, but it just happens to fall like this. So, yeah. <laughs> so I don't really have a ritual, though. Yeah. She just being there writing the painting and shit. She <laughs> <laughs> Answering me when I call. What you doing? Write my book. Well, hold on for a minute. You need a break. Uh, <laughs> I think that's what you said, something like that. We're here. Listen. Right. See, then we laugh, talk crazy. You went back to writing. Need a break. Right. Are you going to revisit the original thought of the romantic suspense for this story if you got that far? You know, because the publisher didn't take my original idea, I might use it for something else. I haven't decided. Actually, I might even tap tap on the shoulders of a couple of my author friends to see if they want to do a collaboration. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, because it's 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 a little involved. <laughs> but um yeah, I think I still think I still love the idea. So I haven't totally tossed it. I don't know if if I, you know, present it as a collaboration to a couple of authors. It probably wouldn't be romantic suspense. It'd probably just be a contemporary romance. If I write it myself, though, and write the stories, because it would be more than one story, I think I would go to romantic suspense route. I just think that would be fun. I like, you know, I like a romantic suspense. That's what's up. So, LaShawn, thank you. LaShawn, get us together. She said, mass marketing is small. Trade size is big. Thank you, right. LaShawn. Yeah. Thank you, LaShawn. This was trade size. <laughs> Yeah, because girl, we don't look. Because I, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> we just mean them all writing and talking. We don't... <laughs> that's why I love my brown book. So this brown, she bought the BBS crew. That's why I love my BBS crew, honey, because they get us together, honey. They ain't gonna let us fall, baby. They ain't gonna let I us appreciate fall. that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Veronica said, "What is the most surprising things you've learned in creating the book business? Not as usual." Hmm. The surprise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Veronica, that is a good question. What was the they most surprising? They come with it today, girl. Huh? They come with some good questions today because they have work. Yeah. They, they have good thinking brains on the day, baby. Yeah. Um, surprising things I learned. It probably has something to do with California because the book is based in Los Angeles, like the Hollywood. Um, yeah, Los Angeles. So it might be something, you know, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that was surprising. Cuz I did go to I did go to California. Um there's a couple of scenes that came about with one of my trips to California. But I can't think of anything surprising. Maybe it was surprising that you learned when creating it that you can write a rom-com. Yeah, that was surprising <laughs> because I wasn't sure. You know, I give yeah, I give Penguin House credit for even giving me a shot at trying romantic comedy. You know, because it had never been on my radar, not until after that luncheon. Yeah, I never would have thought about romantic comedy. Yeah, I never. Love- <laughs> well, we gotta thank Vanessa Piper and Lauren for even you know 
telling yeah. you to do it or encouraging you to do that. Yeah. Right. I need to do something special for them, huh? You do you too, girl. That's why you gotta have good friends around you, honey, because I'm telling you, good friends and people, your atmosphere brings about blessings for everybody. It involved. really does. It right? really does. Miss JB say, I'm already I'm begging. Listening. It's right. Don't try to help someone else. Get a picture too. I am JB. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <I'm trying> to... <laughs> Jennifer, Jennifer said, What are you doing in the downtime? Besides uh picture perfect over there. What else you doing? Yeah. In my downtime, I, you know, I definitely hang out with Mr. Cooper. He's my favorite, you know, pastime, you know. Yeah. Um, I paint. I do some reading, not as much as I used to, but I still do some reading. Uh, what else I do in my downtime? Uh, FaceTime with my grandkids. That's always fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much, you know. And what you it. know. And get on the phone and talk to you for me. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that too. That's I stop know. what I'm doing when Shay calls, you know. Midnight. She got no choice. I'd be like, what are you doing? You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing that. <laughs> I do the same thing to Iris, though. Iris, but oh, do you? I'm writing the book. Yeah. I'm writing the middle of the book. Well, I just finished. I just interrupt the Sharon, so I'm going to interrupt you. You can stop doing it. <laughs> So we're the chosen ones. <laughs> Just y'all, so don't interrupt nobody else. Nobody else. We love it, though. I think I speak for me and Iris. We love it. <laughs> y'all love it. I love that. I love y'all. Midnight says, which one of the characters were the, was, the, was the most fun to write and which one was the most difficult to write? Okay. it was The most fun to write was Dreamy and her grandfather. Her grandfather, it was like one, he's that one of those characters that anything goes. He's at that age where he say what he wants to, walk out in the living room with his underwear, you know, just yeah. So he was so much fun to write. Drink to write too. Um, the most difficult probably was Carl, because he was a little more rigid, you know, and I needed him to be opposite of dreamy. Yeah, his mom. He, was you know, he was. What you say? Yeah, his mama was like, okay, here he go. His mama was like, oh, his, yeah, his mom his, was a trip. Him, yo, she was trying to get everybody on him. My son can go here. Go get my yeah, son she, Yeah. She was special. <laughs> she yeah, was. but I think Carter probably was the most difficult just because he was a little more serious. And, you know, I, I was okay to have him serious, but in a rom com, I didn't want him too serious, but I didn't want him to be like dreamy either i needed that them to be very different just you know because i and i think it worked i really think it worked it, 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 it did it did work we're about to get ready and wind down here you guys uh missy said this book really as far as all thank you missy Yay! Aww, thanks yeah, missy time. thanks for stopping by yeah she said she can't wait till the next few bestsellers to draw yeah that's right they're gonna be uh, Maria yeah, said double entry for the title of the class you as well. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Everybody, y'all good. Okay, listen, we're about to get ready to say amen. Y'all hold on. What's that? Shay, you don't interrupt either of the BJs when they are writing. Sharice, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'll, inter I'll interrupt them. I think I interrupt, well, I interrupt Brenda one time because I was upset about something. And I, I needed a quick, quicker, 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 calmer down, a quicker, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, okay, hold on. Let me get over. Other than that, no, hell no. That, no, 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 no. Y'all didn't get me cussed out. I know my limits. You know how little kids are bad, but they know how, how far to go. How far to go, yeah. How far they can go. I don't push the BJs or Mr. Cooper. <laughs> I tap out. And I'm good. So Sharon, stop. She tried to, don't do that. He said no. Let it go. <laughs> well, he didn't say like a hard no. It was like, I just can't see this working, you know. <laughs> it was something he, like that. He said no. Normally, this is not as usual. It's available now. Please go to all your platforms. Please leave a review. Everyone who's read this book, please leave a review and go check out our review of the book right now. You guys have been awesome. Before we go, though, I want to say big up again to our sponsors. 
Thank you to the Cam and Cakes Cam Creek location. Jewels by Jim to Amazon. We love you. To Penguin Random House. Hey, Chelsea. Thank you guys for our books. To Detroit Player Clothing Line and Veterans Taking Care of Veterans. We appreciate you guys. Let's see here. Oh, one last thing, too, before we go. We want to do... um. This young lady, she's having, you know, we all, we're all down with women and, and, and supporting and trying to get them the big stuff or whatnot. This young lady, her name is Shara. Shara's having her great, her purpose time. And it's going down June the 4th. Um, you can go to her website. You know what? We're going to throw the event right in the, um, um, in the, in the, uh, What's this thing called? The description box below. <laughs> in the description box below so you guys can check her out. It's for the Great Her Summit for all my females. Y'all go check it out. We always here to support each other, to dig each other up. So um, go, you know, hook it up. Share her on Nicole. You can go to the Eventbrite for the tickets, and we'll have that information also in the chat below. She's doing big things, Sharon. She's doing big things, girl. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, when they doing big things, honey, you got to look. As the old folks said, big up the children, honey. Tell the children you appreciate them. All right, so before we go, y'all ready? Sharon, your yeah. swag box giveaway. You ready to give it away, girl? Yeah. yeah. And the winners are Robin Shannon and Anchonette Hawkins. Congratulations, so ladies. Congratulations, ladies. Robin Shannon and Anchonette Hawkins. Please hit us up. Brownbookseries.com and say, hey, girl, where my stuff at, honey? And we'll send it on to you. We want to thank Sharon C. Cooper for being here with us tonight. and for Jay Thank C. you. And thanks for everybody that, that stopped doing what they were doing and to drop by. I really appreciate that. We really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You guys are just wonderful. Make sure you go pick up the book. Leave a review. Leave you, a Jay. review. We need the reviews. <laughs> Leave a review, you guys. I mean, this book is awesome. Your swag box is awesome. And when I say the book is good, y'all, the book is good. This book is good. This damn book is good, honey. Dreaming had me on my face over here laughing. <laughs> so, we didn't see you guys that. All right, all hearts and minds clear. Mama Tony. I love me some Mama Tony, honey. Mama Tony used to keep us together. Me too. Mama Tony <laughs> and JB used, used to keep make me behave. But JB, really? I don't put JB And then they the stopped mind. or? But. Well, Mama Tony still do it. Brenda jump in every now and then to help. I think JB is all the way on my side now. So I, I have okay. JB. <laughs> yeah, I done converted JB for the shenanigans. <laughs> so she, 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 she supported my boys. And then she but okay, Shay, stop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> she like Will it's Will always good to have friends like that though. Yeah, she like Will Smith. She you back in. Yeah, oh, yeah. She laughed first. She, okay, hold on. Say, wait a minute. So, I appreciate you guys. Uh, yes, congratulations to the swag box bag <laughs> winners. Um, and you guys, are awesome. So, listen, everybody, go back to work. All hot to mind. Clear. Sharon C. Cooper, do you want to say anything before we leave, darling? Hey, um, thanks again for stopping by. Appreciate your support. Yours too, Shay. All of those who, who are in the comment section. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you haven't read any of my work, please check out my website at SharonCooper.net. That's, That's it. it. That's all. Sharon Cooper. Look at JB. We got six. <laughs> <laughs> Really All right, you guys. You guys know tomorrow night we're gonna replay this for um the Brown Book series at six o'clock. The joy of retirement, going to get a drink. All right, Mama Tony, I'm gonna go get a drink. I'm about to go get one. It's still early drink. though. It's now it's early to drink. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you to work tomorrow night. If you missed the show tonight, you can look at the replay on tomorrow at six o'clock here at the Brown Book series. And so again, thank you guys. Stay positive. Thank you guys for joining us and make sure you go get the book business not as usual. Thank you again, Chelsea, for hooking this up for us. We really, really appreciate it. All right, you All right. guys, be blessed. Stay positive. All right. Thank you. <laughs>